Hi, I'm Kehlani and I'm your host for Code Along. Today, we're going to dive into something super fun. Making our very own music in scratch. That's right, by the end of this session, we'll have our own unique piece of music. Remember, if you need a refresher, make sure to check out the first video in the series where I teach the basics of coding in scratch. Let's go coders! For my music piece today, I want to create a hip hop style beat coming from a boombox and a speaker. My favorite place to dance with my friends is on the playground at recess. Let's build that together. You can code along with me and build the same project as I do or build your very own piece of music. I'm going to change my background to the playground and delete the cat sprite. Since there's no cats allowed in school, of course. Next, I'm going to add two instruments, a boombox and a speaker. I'll drag and drop the when green flag click block to the scripts area of the boombox. Then the play sound until done block from the sound tab. This will make sure that as soon as my project begins, music will play. To start building my music piece, I'll need to click on the sound tab. I'll click choose the sound at the bottom of the page. Then I can choose from different categories on the navigation bar. I'm going to choose a sound from loops. Sounds from the loops category repeats the sound a couple times unlike other sounds that play once. I'll choose the dance slow-mo sound, but feel free to play around with all the different sounds before choosing your own. There are so many cool ones to choose from. I'm going to choose trombone from the drop down menu, then click the green flag. Excellent! I want the sound to keep playing forever, so I'll add the forever block from the control tab. Now that I've created my baseline sound, I can add other sounds to it. I'm going to broadcast another block to start a different sound once I click the green flag. In Scratch, we can make sprites communicate. When a message is broadcasted by one sprite, then the other sprite or sprites can receive the broadcasted message and perform a set of actions. I can add the broadcast message block from the events tab, then add a start second sound message. Next, I'll click on the speaker and add the when I receive message block to the scripts area. Select the message from the drop down menu and add another play sound drum funky until done underneath. Sounds kind of funny to read all out loud, but remember we read the code from top to bottom. Now I'll click the green flag and hear how it sounds. Wow, that actually sounds terrible. I'm gonna choose another song for the tempo. Let's try this one out. I'll change Drum Funky to Crowd Laugh. Now, I'll add the Forever block to keep the tempo going. Great, that sounds better. Much better. In Scratch, you can also add more actions to your music by downloading the music extension below. A new music tab will appear in the block palette. The music extension includes blocks that let you play different musical instruments, set the tempo, play notes or drums for a certain beat, and create more complex musical patterns. The possibilities are endless. In the speaker sprite, I'm going to add the play drum bass drum for 0.1 beats block under the play sound block. Change the drum to open hi-hat and 0.1 to 1. This will make my beat sound even cooler. Okay, now I feel good about how my speaker sounds. I want to add some beats to the radio sprite. On the radio sprite, I want to add a wait for one second block. This will add a pause to the beat before it starts again. I want to signal for the beat to start again with a side stick sound, 
So I'm going to add a rest for 0.25 beats block, followed by another play drum for 0.25 seconds. I'll try changing drum to side stick and 0.25 to 1. Remember, you can play around with all the options you want to find the sound you like best. Now I'll press the green flag and listen to what I created. Okay, I like it. Scratch is so awesome because it gives us so many ways to customize our sounds. Watch this. In the sounds tab, I'm going to click on the crowd laugh sound, then play around with the different effects. You'll see a purple box appear and you can change its width. I'm going to select the first portion of the sound and click louder a few times from the options below. Then I'll test out the new sounds in the scripts area. That sounds all right. I think I should play with the sound some more. I'm going to select the whole sound, then reverse it to make the middle section a little louder. Wow, that sounds interesting, but I like it. Let's take it a step further and create a beat with the music blocks. I think adding a piano to the playground will be just the right touch. I think I want the piano to make a familiar sound, so I'll make the tempo sound like a nursery rhyme. Let's add some starter blocks. When I click the piano, I want to start my first tune on loop, then add a snare-like tune on top of my loop. To do this, I'll add the following blocks. When this break clicked, broadcast to start tune forever. Now I'll add four play note 60 for 0.25 beats. Each number refers to a sound frequency and each frequency is assigned to a note on the piano. I'm going to click on 60 from the second block. You should see a small piano. Click the top arrows to move up and down the piano to find higher or lower notes. You can also change how many times the notes play per turn. Currently, the first block is at 0.25, so I'm going to change it to 0.15, and I'll change the second block to 0.1. Let's repeat the same pattern for our last two blocks. Okay, time to test out what we have so far by clicking on the piano. You can press the stop sign on the top of the stage to stop and reset the sound. Now I'm going to choose my snare-like sound to play with my keynotes. Add a when I receive my message and a forever block to the script area. I'm going to play another instrument, so let's add play drum open hi-hat for one beat. Let's test it out by clicking on the keyboard. Wow, now we have two different ways of creating our own music. We can choose from different blocks of the sound tab and put the various sounds on a loop. We can also use the music extension to add different instruments and notes to create unique sounds. Let's play this all together. How awesome does that sound? We're true music producers. The next step is to save our work. We have to give our project the title and click Save Now in the top right hand corner or go to File and select Save Now. If you want to share your music, and you absolutely should, then click the Share button. If you want a closer look at my project, be sure to click the project link below. This is Kehlani signing off from the Code Zone. Until next time, coders!